Well, the sun is rising. It's eight in the morning. The fog is rising. There's no wind. It's going to be a beautiful day and I'm going to get my hands in the dirt today. My garlic are sprouting, coming out of the deep freeze. I have 116 in here, going all the way over. And over here today, this is a don't do as I do, or as my husband said, I hope you have a backup plan for those. <laughs> um, these are my Brussels sprouts, uh, the first ones, the ones I planted mid-December. I have, I do have a backup plan, but I want to see if I can push the limit, I want them to grow mostly in the cold. Uh, but we love Brussels sprouts, so the more the merrier. And I've got lots more back up. A few kale I've stuck in, and over there I've just got to cover with a bit more dirt because I watered it. Is um, so multiplier onions I've just stuck in. They'll be fine. Anyway, it'll be interesting to see if these survive. We had snow last year. I think it was June 23rd, and major hard frost on June 30th, which killed all my summer plants, so my squash died. I hope that won't happen. Um, but these are cold loving. Let's see how they do. Wish me luck. So there they are all tucked in except for a couple that didn't make it, but that's another experiment. We'll see if they, oh, they'll probably die off immediately. Probably by the end of the evening. Anyway. I ordered uh, Jerusalem artichokes in December, and of course they don't send them out until you're ready to plant in your zones. Um, they're from a company called Choked Up in BC, small ma and pa shop, and uh, they're called Stampede. So any advice, I've never eaten them or grown them before. I love all vegetables, so I'm sure I will love these. And in our quest for somewhat a bit of shooting for food sustainability. Uh, they come back easily every year if you don't get them all, and, but certainly you save and can plant them back in. Um, I don't even know which way is up or down, so I'm going to Google that. Um, many people plant them in containers to contain them because they can certainly be a bit invasive. Uh, I don't think I want to do that because it's my yard my property and I don't really want containers out there but any advice I'm growing those and the sunflower challenge mm, looks like I'm failing before I even start I obviously was uh, thought I was picking a big seed but it was three coming out of the seed riddle me that one and the other little thing I just wanted to show this is an update on the micro tom. There's a wee tomato there, and another one that you can't tell there, and one over here. I just um, tickle pink by these things. They're so tiny, so low, compact, and lots and lots of flowers on them. Not going to get, uh, you know, a crop from these by any means, but I can throw them in some salads, and that's uh, really cool. 